It's one of the world's most intriguing and unsolved mysteries. 3,000 ships and 100 planes have gone missing in the Bermuda Triangle. The 4 million square kilometre stretch of open water lies between Florida, Bermuda and Puerto Rico. And to this day, five planes still go missing in the region every year. Spoiler alert, it's because of aliens. So to get through this with the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle, 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 here's Dr. Carl. Dr. Carl, Good aliens morning. are doing this, right? No. Oh. Well, thanks for coming in. Uh, so, what, what, look, let's talk about this mystery itself because so I remember watching, yeah. we were saying, uh, Leonard Nimoy's In Search Of and all these mystery shows as a yeah. kid. So the and this five is the big plays one. take off. Yeah. And then they go out and then they say, oh, the compasses are spinning. We don't know where we are. We're getting yes. lost. And then they, they vanish without a trace. And then 16 minutes later, another plane is sent out to look for them and it too vanishes in, uh, uh, completely without trace. And all the aviators are experienced and it's dead flat weather and it must have been aliens. That's yes. the story, right? Yeah. Okay, firstly, they were led by a guy, uh, Lieutenant Charles Taylor, who turned up uh, with a hangover, who oh. was late. There was one experienced guy and 14 other people who were not experienced. He was late with a hangover and he had lo he got lost on two previous occasions and had ditched and had been rescued. Right. When they took off, they, it wasn't fine weather, there were actually 15 metre waves. Right. They kept on saying, mate, you're going the wrong way on the radio thing, please head west because they were taking off from Bermuda, from uh, Florida, head out to the sea east, then sort of chucked a lefty, went parallel to the coast, and then we're going to head back in. And they said, look, just head for the coast. And he said, no, 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 we've got to head the opposite direction. So he went in the opposite direction and they drowned. And with mm. a plane that went uh, missing for them, the uh, Martin Mariner rescue plane that apparently vanished without a trace, it was seen to blow up. Oh, okay. On takeoff. You see, what they were, were a rescue plane that could stay in the air for 24 hours. They ran on petrol and the, they leaked fuel like crazy. Right. And so the plane was seen to actually explode right. and it didn't vanish without a trace. But Dr. Carl, can I ask you, because we're still saying that like planes still go missing there. And the most common theory it, it, it seems to be extreme weather. Okay. Does yeah, that have anything to okay. do with it? So first, with regard to planes vanishing there, it is close to the equator, near a wealthy part of the world, America, and therefore you've got a lot of pleasure traffic. According to both Lloyds of London and the US Coast Guard, the number of planes and ships that go vanishing there on a percentage basis is the same as anywhere else in the world. Uh. It goes up one year, it goes down a little bit, it doesn't really vary. So it started off with, in 1964, an article uh, in Argosy magazine saying this is the Bermuda Triangle, followed up by a book by Charles Belitz in 1974 called The Bermuda Triangle, which I actually read. Mate, this guy couldn't lie straight in bed. If he, <laughs> if he said it was blue, it was black. If he said it was daytime, it was nighttime. All the way through there were mistakes, but there is one thing. There is one fact that the scientists have never been able to pick him up on and prove him wrong, and the scientists with their punsy PhDs in their lab coats. Yeah. When he says that that structure, which runs from Bermuda <clears throat> down to Puerto Rico, across to Miami, that structure with three sides, when he says that's a triangle, nobody has ever proved him wrong. That's it, the only fact he got right. Yeah, it is a triangle. A, a, a structure with three sides that are straight, that is a triangle. Everything else is well, just made allegedly. up. I mean, there's a lot of fake news out there. Yeah, I mean, can, can you trust the 2,000-year-old Greek geometry people? I mean, no, a right. Pythagoras who? Uh, Dr. Carl, it's also believed that some of the parts... So you th what about vertigo? Well, that might come into it. Of like course. Because they, 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 they're seeing things, and the lights from the alien ships are coming, and they flip the plane upside down, and they're experiencing vertigo. If you listen to the... If you read the radio transcripts, um, some of the pilots who are the junior ones are saying, um, the coast of America is off, to, off the west. Mm. Why don't we fly to the west? And Taylor says, no, we've got to fly east. Right. He'd got lost twice before and he had a hangover. He was a drunk. Gas <sighs> bubbles, that's another theory. Yeah, that, that Gas bubbles works. rising from the ocean they floor. They take the ships yeah. down. 100% correct. So if you think about the big wave surfers, they are in a big wave and then it crashes and then there's bubbles and they're just sitting on the floor and, and, and they still sure float in water, but they won't float in water and bubbles. And we do have what are called methane hydrates, and they do bubble to the surface. But to, we've actually had cases where ships have sailed through them, and they say, gee, it's really bubbly, but at no stage have they sunk. Right. And certainly having a bunch of five aeroplanes up in the sky and having them affect I don't see how it would happen. So this is just a myth. We um, just didn't know any better. Uh, no, because it did fill up airtime and book time. Like I actually bought the book, The Bermuda Triangle, by Charles Bullitt. There you go. It was my 20 bucks. There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. Thank you, Dr. Carl. I'm Carr. sorry.